Alrighty guys, welcome back to video number 31 and you guys are all legends for staying with me this far. So the last thing that I want to do to our navigation menu is indicate to us what item has been selected. So if you click on one of these, I want to make this bold so you know where you're, where, what page you're on. Okay, so we can do this by changing up our CSS. So let's go ahead and go to our CSS style page and let's go ahead and add some CSS. So down here at the bottom, underneath our unordered list of pages, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a class of selected and I'll give it a line break or a line space, I'm sorry, to help uh, you guys see it better. And I'm just going to give it a font weight, nope, 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 of uh, bold. I'm going to close that out. Okay, so just like HTML, we're going to go up here, track down our <clears throat> our li tag right here before our link, and let's go ahead and give it our class. Let's go ahead and go all, li class equals selected and since we already are inside double quote quotations we need to escape these with backspaces let's go ahead and save this and reload our page that's perfect well it's kind of perfect but we can still make it look a little bit more professional you see how our first table of information is in bold now but I only want to make the one that we're on be in bold so what if we just want one of these to be bold? Well, we need to go ahead and run an if else statement. And you guys could maybe do this on your own right now. But again, I'm going to take the long way home so you can see how I break it up into three different parts. But if you're comfortable in doing this, feel free to do it. Um, I don't know if I'd really be comfortable if I was kind of new to PHP. I'd still want to watch it. So go ahead and follow along. So I'm going to go ahead and where is my while statement? It's right up here. Okay, let me look at this closely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a line break or give it some white space. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this down right here as well. So I'm gonna, what I need to do is I'm going to end this statement right here. And I'm going to give it my if statement. It, actually, I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up first. Okay, on this line, I want to have echo class. And I'll drop this down as well. So where is my, okay, let me look at this, selected, drop it down right there. I need another quotation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and give it a semicolon to close that out. Let's go ahead and drop another line. Let's keep looking at this, and then we want to echo our a ref, give it an open tag, and okay, let me go ahead and add my if statement right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it our condition, and my curly brace is going to end right Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it our condition. Where's our menu? Where's our information? Let's go ahead and steal that. And we'll copy this. So we'll say if this is equal to, what would we go ahead and call our table one? Okay. So if this is equal to a variable of table one, let's go ahead and run this. And I hope this works. For some reason, I think I made an error in here. No. Okay, we're perfect. Okay, so see how we click over here on a menu and the one that we're on only highlights. Awesome. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is I'm going to quiz you. I want you guys to go ahead and do this exact same thing that we did for our information table down here to our pages table. So good luck with this and I'll see you guys in the next video.